Pelosi, so, somehow, some are saying that Pelosi has also given China more fodder to act tougher against Taiwan. I mean, if you look at the military drills that are surrounding uh, the island, it seems that they've now come a step closer, isn't it, geopolitically? Well, I don't think there is any serious analysts throughout this region, including some U.S. friends and allies, who think that it was a very good idea to have visited Taiwan at this particular time. Uh, there are, as I said earlier, there are many other ways, more intelligent ways, less risky ways of giving Taiwan the support it needs and deserves. So it, what it has done is it has forced China to react in a semi-hysterical way. It has, for, uh, it has given China an excuse to do things like shoot missiles very close to Taiwan. It hasn't done for uh, several decades. So how is this helpful? I don't see it, you know, myself. Perhaps if you are Speaker of the House of Representatives, your political uh, eyesight is much more acute than mere mortals like the rest of us. But I really don't see how it helps. Mr. Khan, you say that uh, it really serves as no significant strategic or foreign policy goal, yeah. for, particularly for Pelosi. But I'm interested, what about President Xi Jinping and his domestic political advantage here? Because we've seen this overwhelming sense of, you could say, nationalistic zeal on social media. The PLA also perhaps suggesting that this was an opportunity to test its own military capabilities. Doesn't that play into President Xi Jinping's playbook at the moment, particularly ahead of the 20th Party Congress? Well, I think ahead of the 20th Party Congress, President Xi would have preferred stability. Stability in U.S.-China relations, stability in its external environment. Don't forget, uh, you know, China's growth is slowing. It faces a host of complicated internal problems, and there isn't very much to show by way of success uh, uh, in the run-up to the 20th Party Congress. So I think this was a distraction that he could do without. However, he cannot not respond and cannot not respond uh, in a very robust manner, which uh, China has. Now, does this really help the PLA test its capabilities? I'm a bit skeptical. <clears throat> it's one thing to have uh, military exercises, even live firing exercises. Uh, it's another thing to, to launch a real military operation. And I think there is a broad consensus among military analysts that China does not yet have the capability to launch an amphibious operation of the scale necessary. Uh, it, it is not to say it will never have the capability, but it does not have it now. So I think for both China and, and the U.S., this is an unwelcome distraction. And don't forget, for all the bluster that China uh, put out before, during and after the visit, it still failed to deter the visit. Wisely or not, Madam Pelosi visited Taiwan. So that is not a great success for Chinese deterrence capability, I think.